That's two, baby. Yeah. We did it. We won two games. <laughs> we got up 4 nothing. <laughs> we blew the 4 nothing lead. Got up 5-4, blew that, and then scored a shorthanded goal with like a minute and a half, two minutes left. Like, that is clutch. We're like the 1980s Oilers as a league. We got to work on some puck handling, keep it simpler. I don't know what happened there. That was just a brain fart. We got practice today. We got a day off tomorrow. We got an afternoon game, which I, I love afternoon game. All the, uh, the COV games that were canceled because guys are getting sick. Those are all coming up in the next like two or three weeks, so it's going to be jam. We're having like three, four games a week. It's awesome. At the end of the day, I'm doing what feels right for me and chasing down my dream. We have a new signing. We signed the Zach Bell. I don't know what you're doing. I need protection. Zach Bell does it with a puck. <laughs> He does it with a puck? He does it with a puck, yeah, I think so. Oh, yeah, baby. Right we'll put the limp biscuit on. Hey, spring is in the air. Have you seen the weather we've been having lately? Sunny as shit. <laughs> it's great. Yeah. Take it, take it, take it. Take it, take it, take that. Take it, take it. Take that, take that. Yeah, take that, take that. Left center square. Small justice. You get four of them pop. Ow! Ow! You shoot hard! So I'm gonna go pick up the boss man, the guy that I live with. I see a lot of people asking questions about like how I ended up living with him. When I came here last year, I had no place to stay when I came here from Stockholm. Our head coach Zoltan, who was our coach this year, then ended up getting fired. So he just said, oh, I'll put you with uh, one of my best friends. You can go live with him. Oh, welcome home. Hello, Trev. We have a beer uh, in uh, this year. Come, the come. Oh, yeah. So I got a gift card from Max. And I got two coupons. So we're really saving money here tonight. Real fries tonight, real deal, we love that stuff. Maybe not the most exciting burger, but Halloumi burger, Deluxe shake. It's basically like a McDonald's milkshake, but really fancy. And it is so thick, you gotta spoon it. Hold on, look at this, look at this, look at this. You seeing this? This is the uh, apple pie milkshake, by the way. You got apple pie in here, ice cream? Are you kidding me? Oh my God. They take legit, like apple pie, and they put it in the blender and they blend it up with ice cream, put whipped cream on top. This is like, this is the real deal. Also, with my extreme couponing, this probably all should have cost about 30 bucks. I think it was only like 750 with all my coupons and gift card and everything. The last time I got an apple pie milkshake from Max, there was like another lady in Sweden last year that I took on a Max date and she said, it uh, wasn't gonna work. Oh well. Press Peron is where I get like my phone plans every month. One of the craziest things about Sweden is it's my phone plan every month here. It's like a month to month, it's kind of like a burner phone. It's like 20 bucks, 21 bucks every single month. In Canada, my phone plan, just to keep it alive, so I have the same uh, like plan for when I get back home, it's like 30 bucks. Regular phone plan in Canada is like 90, 100 bucks every single month. It's nuts. I have like six weeks left. And the closer we get to that six weeks, the more I'm thinking like I really don't want to go home. I, I want to go home and I see my family. Like I miss my mom, I miss my dad, I miss my woman, I miss my cat a lot. Because over the last eight months, Sweden has really truly become my home. Also, let me show you a little trick. The uh, the parking place here, you're not allowed to park here like legally for free. So I just uh, throw the hazards on and you're good for 15. That's like a one up bed trick. You, you throw your hazards on, you're good for 15 almost anywhere you want. It's not legal. But it works. There's a lot of really cool things in Sweden. One of my favorite things is like the pastries and the sweets and stuff. They're not super sweet. They're just like nice. And there was this lady I met at the uh, the coop today and she told me, like one of the employees, she's like, these are really good. They're called Semlas, Selmas, like the lady from the Simpsons, I think. No, 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 we don't have to smoke. We can stop whenever we want. See? Nah. I guess you could call them like a long john. I don't really know what to call them, but apparently they're really good. I bought two, they were like six bucks. It is a beautiful Saturday morning. Let's do some questions. You got a question? Put it in the comment section below if it's great. I'll answer it. Roll the intro. Time for a Q&A. Well, I came on. Yeah. Hey, look, we're on that TV thing. Strap on your skates, you're going in. 
Decker, did you ever give us an answer on what happened to those three teams that wanted you to the higher division? Basically, the ro there's a roster freeze deadline. So I think that was like middle of February, may have been first week of February, where you can't add players. So three teams were interested. They needed a goalie today. I was injured. They moved on. They all signed different guys. They all moved forward. Do any of the guys in your team have jobs outside of hockey? I'd say like half the guys in our team have full-time jobs. The other half are imports, like myself, who just show up and go to the rink every day. Can you go more in depth about True and Lefebvre and what your relationship was with Lefebvre and why they don't want to, why you don't want to support True? I am legally obligated not to speak on that. What I will tell you is that I really wish there's a way to work with like Lefebvre. I know that they're owned by True now, but it'd just be nice because Patrick Lefebvre makes such an amazing product. He's a, a once in a generation talent, a craftsman. I've met him in person. I know it was over two years ago I went to Lefebvre Factory, but it was a life-changing experience. And um, once you've had the best, you can't compare to the rest. Can we just get Trav haircuts every day and keep the hairdresser lady in the vlog? Haircuts are like a hundred bucks here. They're not cheap, but uh, Teresa's a cool girl. Gas here just hit $1.70 a liter, three bucks a liter would bankrupt me. So to clarify that gas prices in Sweden are worth 325 Canadian a liter, but nine bucks US for a gallon. I figured out this hack the other day to save money, especially like with driving like an hour or two in from practice. You drive there, you push back. So instead of gas being 325, then it becomes like a dollar seventy because you you only drive one way. I'm 16 and love an opportunity to try out for a CHL team. How did you get a tryout in the Western League where you drafted beforehand? Also, how old were you when you did it? I was 17. I was in trade school for culinary school and the apprenticeship advisor, he ended up seeing me wearing like my AAA like, uh, hockey hoodie in Winnipeg and he says, oh, you play for the AAA Hawks. Yeah, I'm actually the uh, head Manitoba scout for the Portland Winterhawks. Great, so we ended up talking. We'd like to invite you to camp. Actually, turns out we're only inviting signed guys, drafted guys this year, so we don't have a spot. Here's a contact list for every GM, scout, coach, everything in the Western League. So obviously, I emailed every single person on that list. I got maybe 20 answers back out of everybody in the league. And of that, I got an invite to main camp with the Prince George Cougars. Was I ready? No. Was I even a junior A caliber goal at that point in time? No. I sound like an old man, but there's so many things I wish I knew when I was like 17 or 16 that I knew now, and I could probably crack a Western League spot, no problem, but like the old saying goes, if my aunt had not, she'd be my uncle, so it's all in theory. If you get a solid paycheck, will you stop YouTube? Absolutely. I really want, I just want to stop filming and focus on hockey, but that doesn't pay the bills as of right now. Final question of the day. Lucas says, genuinely, dude. Genuine question, what does your team actually provide you? Uh, this car, so for example, they pay uh, the boss man every single month, they pay him for me to use the car. I pay for gas, but the insurance, everything else is taken care of. Unlimited free ice, IQ fuel, which I'm going to the factory in Stockholm next month, which I'm really excited for. Tape, get a lot of tape. I don't know, just a place to play, a place to call home and you know, a rink to show up to every day. We have a very nice restroom too, so we have that as well. But one thing I have, these new videos every Monday and Thursday at 10 a.m. Eastern. I'd like to thank you for watching. As always, hit the subscribe button. Please pick up some, uh, you know, Traspect Pro Laces. Maybe pick up some Beyond Yourself supplements. Help support your boy. We're going for three wins in a row.